Go. Go on. Go on. Hey, go. What's up guys, I got another drone from GearBest.com. This one is by a company called Tovesto. This is the Aegean, and this is, it's hard for me to look at this one and not kind of compare it to the DJI Phantom because it looks so much like it. And it actually almost reminds me of like the first or second models of the DJI Phantom. So this thing will actually hold a camera, uh, GoPro specifically, or GoPro light cameras and it has built-in gps so it's very easy to fly it's very slow moving uh but let's go ahead open it up i've had this thing for about a week now got about 10 flights in on it uh the box also doubles as a pretty neat uh well it's not actually neat but it's just a way to transport it from one place to another uh it has this crate right here but inside see everything fits in there so if you don't have a case then boom now you got this case you can carry it around so everything that comes with it everything is included that you need to fly except for the batteries for the remote so everything else is included we got the propellers here we have the drone itself which we'll look at a little bit closer here and then we have the remote controller so just four double a's for that and then we have the battery 2200 milliamp hour 11.1 um, volts they have a charger. Here's the charging cable. Now the way I've been charging, I've just been using the charger. I have a different charger at home that will actually, man, this thing is really stuck in here, uh, charge the battery a little bit faster. But with this included charger, it will charge, uh, it takes about three hours actually to charge up this battery. Uh, my, ba my charger at home will actually charge it a little bit quicker. So, but if not, you know three hours is kind of a long time flight time real quick we'll cover with this is about 15 minutes or so now i've flown this thing non-stop like just back and forth as fast as i could non-stop and i got about 12 minutes so if you just did some hovering or things like that you'll probably get you know that 15 minutes uh we have some directions here we have some tools uh allen wrenches and then this is like a prop remover uh binding key uh, we got some decals and stuff in there and then we have a pretty decent um, instruction manual that will cover everything you need to know about this but it's very simple i'm going to go over uh, most of the things right now the only thing i would take a look at is on the actual quadcopter the gps that's built in let me bring it right here this is like the indicator and there's like green yellow yellow green red and you kind of need to know what those mean we'll go over that here in a second but this is the indicator and that's for the gps so um some stuff worth looking at in there Get everything kind of put back in here now now for the quadcopter now it does come with this little shock mount kind of dampener it will remove some of the vibrations now this isn't a gimbal so when the quad is moving 
the camera is going to move as well. It won't hold perfectly still. Now the GoPro is not included either. This is my GoPro, but it's just, it's just a real simple uh, to get it out of the actual thing. Just unscrew it like this, and then uh, it will just pop right out like that. Then you can take your GoPro out. But like I said, it fits like similar type GoPro cameras. There's like a, a ton of them out now that are all very similar sized. And I'm sure if you didn't have a GoPro, you could probably make some kind of contraption that would hold uh, what other camera you had. So this is the front of the drone here. And this is also where you put in the battery. So it was a little confusing at first because the indicator light it almost looks like it should be, well, it should be on the back, but still the battery section, it just, I don't know, it threw me off for a second. But anyway, the battery section is here in the back and I actually have one of my own batteries. Uh, I had an extra battery, it's the same exact milliamp hour, same exact size. So that way I can just fly this thing a little bit longer here. And let's see, let's tuck this thing back in here. And yeah, the propellers that come with this, they spin on. So if we look at the top here, we have black and then we have the silver. They just screw on here. We got some dogs here in the background. Like that. Hi, how's it going? How are you? Um, making a video on this quadcopter. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Yeah. I see it. I thought there, I, I thought you were maybe taking pictures. Or you are. Right? Yeah, I'm doing a video of uh, doing the quadcopter upload to the internet. I figured. Hey, come here. Get out here. Don't break anything. I didn't see you sitting in there. Oh, probably saw a bunch of stuff sitting here. I was like, what's going on over here, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, have a good one. So the propellers, they just spin on, real simple. They spin off, so if you want to put it back in the box, not a big deal. Um, landing gear, here's the bottom. We do have these LED lights, so when you're flying it, you can tell uh, which is forward, which is back. And yeah, so my opinion on it, it's hard for me, like I said, not to compare this thing to the DJI Phantom 4 because well, that's the one I use for like all my, if I ever want to take any cool videos or cool pictures, that's kind of like my go-to drone. Um, and this one, I mean, it looks very similar to it. It has a camera. It's not made to be aggressive like a racing drone. It's made to take like aerial photos. Uh, so some of the things I can see right away, one, it doesn't have that gimbal. Uh, two, that the motors aren't as strong. This thing isn't as fast, nearly as fast or as stable as the Phantom but it definitely holds the GoPro without a problem, flies around without a problem, and holds GPS pretty darn good. I'll show you that here uh, in just one second. Let's look at the transmitter. So the transmitter is pretty slick looking. I mean, it's got this nice black, there's no like antenna sticking out or anything, so it's like really slick looking. We have the power button, button here. We have return to home button here. We have your sticks, they feel nice. Not much to it. We have a place to put here a little uh, necklace keychain on. And this part, I think, pops off because this does, you can get a gimbal for this. It's it's does it's not included, but you can get one. I, I honestly don't know how much it is. It's probably around $60, $70. They've been getting a lot cheaper. Um, I wouldn't assume it'd be much more than that. But it has this gimbal wheel here, too, that allows you to uh, tilt down and up. So you can do, 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 you know, look around. Whatnot. And then we have this piece here, which I think if you want to go ahead and hook up like a 5.8 gigahertz, you could maybe mount like a phone right here or a, a screen actually to like you would used to with the Phantom 1 and Phantom 2 uh, if you wanted to see what the GoPro is seeing. Uh, so that thing just kind of pops out. I'll pull it out here real quick. So, yeah. And uh, put it back in. Then we have these switches here. Now, uh, the first is manual start mode, and this is full, no, it's not full manual, it's actually very stable still, um, slow flying, but um, it doesn't have that altitude hold, so if you go up and then back down, you'll have to maintain for your altitude. Now, GPS position hold mode, 
These were these confused me at first because one says smart orientation mode, one says GPS position hold mode. And I thought that the GPS position hold mode would hold it, you know, like right in place. Well, actually, the GPS position hold mode only holds altitude but it will still drift, you know, whatever which way. Now, smart orientation mode, which is usually where no matter which way the quadcopter is oriented, you would always fly forward, left, back, and right, and you wouldn't have to worry about that. But actually, the smart orientation mode is the GPS official hold, so it will hold altitude and it won't move left or right, and we'll demonstrate all those. But I just wanted to point that out, that there's no actual mode where you don't need to know the orientation of your quadcopter but there is that gps or smart orientation mode that does a really good job at holding it um, in place so on the back here we have these batteries four double a's and yeah not much more to really say about it so let's uh let's get right to it here i want to just go ahead we'll get the battery in play and um yeah we'll check it out i'm actually going to take the gopro off and put it on my head so i can give you guys a better look of uh the setup and actual flying of this all right guys i'm going to try to be rather quick with this just because i realized my gopro battery is about to die but this is i'm just going to go through the basic setup you just get the battery in here go ahead plug it in Okay, a little beep to let you know that it's on, and obviously flashlights here. And now, when you look at the orientation, there's all the different lights that will tell you what the GPS is doing, but what you're looking for is actually a green, yellow, green, yellow, it's super fast. Now, don't be confused with green, green, yellow, 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 green. It's really confusing, I know, because they look so much alike, but actually the instruction manual will say like a solid yellow. but I just don't like this is as solid yellow as I ever see and it's still like a flashing but this is actually what it looks like when you have the GPS hold so now to arm the copter we're just gonna hold down into the right and I'm starting this in the manual mode okay so there it is and it's a very slow type of takeoff but there we go I'm just going to do some flying around. I'll show you this, what it looks like in manual mode. And that's full. So it's not extremely fast. And like I said, this is a quad for, you know, you want to put a GoPro on it. But... Now, let's check out the GPS position hold. So you notice how it was just climbing there and I clicked it over and then it just stopped. And now it's still drifting. Now watch this, flip it down to smart orientation and it will actually just stop and freeze in midair. And look at that thing, it holds its uh, position very, very good. Now something else about this is that it has smart return to home so well i don't know if it's called smart return to home but it's return to home so it will record its takeoff spot and then if you lose like signal with the transmitter the thing will just come back to home let me show you i'm just going to turn this thing off in mid-flight actually no let's let's bring it out here by the trees it's going it's going it's going boom just turned off the transmitter okay no input from the transmitter here and the thing will just come back and land where it took off which is right back over here and I should have probably took off a little bit further away from these gates right here but you can see it just comes right on back and I can interrupt the return to home I think by turning it back on or if I use the return to home button I could turn it off and then take control of the quadcopter but for right now, it's, it does an awesome job at coming back and landing by itself. So, A plus for that. And the price of this guy, I'll talk about the price right now. The Phantom 4 is like $1,200. This thing is $275. And it's like super smooth landing too. There's no like real hiccups. 
and boom, it's landed. So totally safe for beginners uh, to use and um, yeah, just a really great flying machine. Let me go ahead, I'll power on the transmitter here. Let me make sure I'm still recording on my head. And what I'll do, I'll put some footage up here of when I had the GoPro on there. I've flown this thing a ton uh, with the GoPro already. But I'm just going to kill the battery on the GoPro and on the drone right now. I'll go ahead and arm it. I'll need to be in the manual start mode. Okay. And I'll go ahead, take off. We'll just do a little bit more flying here. Range on this thing is about 400 feet. But remember, if you know, just in case you were to fly out of range, I, you know, you should always practice good uh, flying. But if it does go out of range, you always do have that, you know, it will return to home. Now, the thing is, if you don't have the GPS engaged, then it's not going to return to home, you know. So you got to make sure you're not having any errors on your GPS. That's the same thing for all quadcopters, though. And also in this manual mode, it will go up and down. It, ha it doesn't have the altitude hold. So if you're doing more, you know, need to do more advanced movements, you do use the manual mode. But then watch, I can switch it here. I want to show you. I'm going to, I'm going down, I'm going down, I'm going down. And watch, it will just hold that position now. And watch, I'll be coming at me and flip it down to smart and it breaks. To hold its orientation. Oh, it's drifting a little bit there. Okay, there you go. So it just took a second for that GPS to lock. If I take it back out, I go forward, hit the button, watch, it does the braking, goes back a little bit, and then it just finds its spot right there. It's not as quick as braking like is the Phantom 4, and where it basically almost looks like it stops on the dime. This one, there might be like a two foot leeway or so but yeah it is a it is a good flyer and with the gopro on it i mean it flies honestly just the same so about 12 to 15 minute battery battery life you got you know green lights in the back red in the front yeah That's in the smart or uh, manual mode, GPS mode. Huh, took off up. Oh, I had the uh, throttle set all the way up. That's why that was doing that there. I was like, why is that thing going up? But yeah, that thing holds darn still right there and also this will start beeping at you when the battery is going to die so you don't got to set no timers or anything like that Real quick, I'll just do the return to home. We'll fly it over here. I oh crap. Oh no, I don't know what it's doing. Boom, return to home. Now, something else to mention about this is that this does not have sensors in it like the Phantom 4. So if you tell this thing to go home and there's trees or a building in the way, it ain't gonna work. <laughs> you're gonna hit the building but for situations like this where I just hit return to home it does perfect coming back 
So uh, my thoughts on this guy, it definitely is an awesome quad for the price. Um, if you wanted to start getting a you know, better camera on there like the GoPro, but don't have $1,200, but you have $275, I'd say this is an excellent option. It's a stable flyer. It's great for beginners. It's got GPS and uh, it's pretty slick looking. You know, it's a black design. Uh, yeah, so I'll put a link in the description, but there you go, the Tavsto Aegean. Thanks for watching. All right guys, so surprisingly enough, I still have a magic little bar hanging. I'm gonna do some flying, just give you some more example footage of uh, what you can expect from this thing. It's got the GoPro 3 Plus on it. If you want to know what camera I'm using, this isn't the newest GoPro 4. So, we'll see here. Hopefully it'll give me a couple more minutes of flying. And also, I wanted to tell you, this thing makes one weird noise through the GoPro when it's flying. You'll hear it here in just one second. It's, like, ooh, it's actually really soothing. Wait here for, boom, it's got GPS lock already. Go ahead and take it up. Oh, I had the home button depressed. It won't take off with the home button depressed. Now I can take off.